Hello everyone. Welcome to new video of Whiteout Survival. I am back with a new guide video for you. To be honest, I never thought I have to make video on this topic, but recently I found some persons are spreading false information on this topic. So I am making video to make people aware about this. Our today's topic is, should we skip hero generation or not? Let's jump in our video. This question has been asked many times. Different persons will give you different answers. If I answer you with my one year experience in this game, my answer in one line is, you should never skip any generation. Why? I am coming to that point soon. There are some simple but strong valid reasons why you should never skip generation. Before coming to this, I want to discuss some more things in this video. I will discuss on both free to play and spender point of view. The word skip has two meanings. First meaning is, you should not get the hero of that particular generation. Second meaning is, you should get the hero, but you should not ascend star level using shards. And I am against both of them. Let's discuss on this. First thing, in every generation, you get a hero from Lucky Wheel. This hero is called free to play hero, and other two heroes are called pay to win hero. Because in case of those two heroes, you have to spend to get a good level. But don't worry, even if you are free to play player, you can unlock and upgrade pay to win heroes. You cannot get one hero, Natalia. Free to play players can get Geronimo from Hall of Chief event, but it is extremely hard to get. So when I talk about free to play players, I will not count Natali and Geronimo. Lucky Wheel is the heart of free to play players. If you are free to play and if you skip Lucky Wheel, it will be one of the biggest mistakes of your whiteout survival journey. You have to play Lucky Wheel by any means. And each time you have to try at least 40 spins. You can say it will cost heavy amount of gems. I can give you guarantee if you actively take part in every event. Collecting 40,000 gen is not a big work. Spenders have to increase star level as much as possible of each hero. But if you are free to play players, you have to make lucky wheel hero that is free to play hero to at least for star and pay to win to at least three star. For star hero means level five skill and three star hero means level four skills. So in each generation, your lucky wheel hero should have level five skill and other two heroes should have level for skill. Now, I will tell you what hero you get in Lucky Wheel in each generation and what is the significance of them. In generation one, you will get Zinman from Lucky Wheel. This hero is little exception because it is not combat hero. So you can choose to leave this hero on three star. Three star hero means level for skills. This hero helps to reduce time and cost of each upgrade. When you will reach Furnace 26, you will find heavy upgrade time. If you skip this hero on Generation 1, you will feel regret after 3 months. When you will see the upgrade time of buildings, but only for this hero, you can stay on 3 star. Other Lucky Wheel heroes should be at least 4 star. I am not discussing how to get shards, because I have made a full video of shards. Next Lucky Wheel hero on Generation 2 is Flint. Do anything, but never think about skipping this hero. This will be your first mythic infantry hero in this game, if you are free to play. Flint will be also the most time used hero for you. Because next infantry hero will come, on generation 5. If you are free to play, and, if you skip Flint, you have to play 200 days, without good mythic infantry hero. Moreover, Flint is excellent hero for arena, so don't skip him. If you are thinking gem amount is very high, Try to spin 20 times in each Lucky Wheel. And Flint will come minimum 3 times in Lucky Wheel event. Next Lucky Wheel hero on Generation 3 is Mia. Though Molly is Lancer, Mia is very strong for free to play players. If you skip her, you have to wait till Generation 6, which will be headache over time. Mia will be best for you if you are Rally Caller as free to play player. Next Lucky Wheeled Hero on Generation 4 is Lin. In my last video about Gina, I already said, Lin is the first good marksman hero in Whiteout Survival for free-to-play players. Because, in Generation 1, 
you get Zinman, which is mythic hero, but not combat hero. Jin is combat hero, but not PvP hero. So, only Bahidi is left, which you have to use in first three generations as free to play. Why you want to skip Lin if you are getting first mythic combat marksman? After crossing three generations, next lucky wheel hero on generation five is Hector. I have already said, don't skip any generation. Now, I want to say something about spenders. No doubt, Geronimo is very powerful, and he can dominate from generation one to generation four. But if you are thinking to make five star Geronimo and to skip Logan and MOs, it will be big mistake. Of course, Geronimo is stronger than both Logan and MOs. You should not skip Logan and MOs. I will tell it soon. I was telling about free to play heroes. Now I will tell about pay to win heroes. That means other to heroes of each generation. Generation to as Philly as Lancer. You can see my Philly is already three star. You can unlock Philly from Hall of Chief and King of Icefield leaderboard. And you can upgrade star using Hall of Heroes. Philly Shard is also available in Fortress event. And best way to get Philly Shard is to play Heroes Mission event. Other hero of generation 2 is Alonzo. You can see, I have upgraded him till 3 star. Because he is paid to win hero, so I should upgrade till minimum 3 star. Alonzo Shard is hard to get in the beginning. But you will get lots of shards from Intel Lighthouse when your server will reach generation 4. Your Intel Lighthouse will get generation to hero shards. And when your server will reach generation 5. Your Intel Lighthouse will get Generation 3 Hero Shard. Each time your server reach a generation, your Intel Lighthouse will get to Generation Previous Shards. So basically, pay to win heroes will be available for free to play players. Let me show other generations also. Generation 3 has Logan as infantry. You can get Logan Shards from Hall of Heroes. Mythic General Shard has other use. I will show it soon. As Marksman, you will get Greg on Generation 3. Greg can be unlocked in King of Icefield. And Greg can be upgraded in Hall of Heroes. The best way to get Greg Shard is Heroes Mission Event. My Greg is in 3 star, so I am enjoying level for skills. In Generation 4, you will get MOs as infantry. MOs can be unlocked in King of Icefield. And best source to get MOs Shard is Heroes Mission Event. Reina comes as Lancer in Generation 4. Best source of Reina Shard is Intel Lighthouse. See, I am currently on Generation 6, so I am getting Reina Shards in Lighthouse. Amos Shard is also available in Lighthouse, but Reina comes more often than Amos. Next generations are same, so I am not breaking in details. From beginning of video, I talk till here to show you. All heroes can be unlocked and upgraded as free to play, even if the hero itself is pay to win. You can also get shards from Alliance Championship Shop, Foundry Shop, and some other sources. I am not showing them because they are not economical. My objective of discussing this is to make you to believe it is not impossible to obtain any particular hero. You can get every hero in this game. Now, I will come to the main part of this video. Why you should never skip any generation. I will quote five simple reasons in front of you. 1. Bear Hunt. Point 2. Crazy Joe. 3. Frostfire Mine. 4. Foundry Battle. 5. Arena. 6. Crossing Current Generation. Let's start with Bear Hunt. How you are going to compete in Bear Hunt if you skip some heroes? I already know, as Rally Joyner, one hero is enough. But if you skip some important mythic heroes, you will have only epic and rare heroes left. Suppose you have five queues and one special queue. In special queue, you can put your main three heroes. In first three queue, you can use Jesse, Jasser, Siyun as Rally Joyner. But what you will use in remaining to queue if you skip some important heroes. Now you can understand what is the downfall of skipping generation. But wait, this is one reason. More reasons are coming. Next is Crazy Joe. 
If you are using zero defense strategy, you need to keep all troops outside. If you have 5Q, you need minimum 5 infantry hero, 5 lancer hero, 5 marksman hero. If you skip some heroes, how you will manage these 15 heroes? Will you use Charlie, Smith-like growth heroes, and Crazy Joe? Moreover, I said skip has two meaning, the second meaning says, unlock the hero, but don't increase star. I confirm, this is 100% wrong. You can never defend your teammates using zero defense strategy, in Crazy Joe, if you use low star or one star hero. So it is clear, if you want to play Crazy Joe properly, you need many mythic heroes. Not only many heroes are needed, but also minimum 3 star. Next is Frostfire Mine. In Frostfire Mine, you attack and defend many veins at same time. You need to use your all Qs to get a good score. Again, if you have 5 Qs, you need minimum 5 infantry hero, 5 lancer hero, 5 marksman hero. How you will play Frostfire Mine? If you skip some heroes, will you send Q without heroes? Moreover, your heroes can be injured in Frostfire Mine. If you skip hero and try to play Frostfire, you may have nothing to use in Battlefield after some defeat. So you can never play Frostfire Mine without hero and without good star level. Next is Foundry Battle. It is similar like Frostfire Mine. You have to use many Q for many buildings. How you can play Foundry Battle if you skip some heroes. Next is Arena. I already know, Arena is not related with having more heroes. Because we need only 5 heroes, but we don't know, when, which hero can be useful. Sometimes, your least used heroes can bring victory in Arena. So having more heroes in your hand, means, more lineup options for Arena. Next is, Crossing Current Generation. If you skip any heroes, you will face more or less problem to cross current generation. Moreover, similar class heroes are available after a huge gap. As example, first infantry hero for free to play comes in generation 2. But second infantry hero for free to play comes in generation 5. Canyon Clash is also coming. You will see what is the benefit of having more heroes. Now I want to show when you should use mythic general shard. You should not use general shard. To cover a huge gap, you should use it. When a small amount of shards are needed to increase tier or star. See here, my Greg already has 30 shards out of 40. In this case, it will be good if I use general shard. Because general shard is hard to obtain and it can be used on any hero. But see here, I need 40 shards for this tier. If I try to use 40 general shard for this upgrade, it will not be good. So, use your general shard. For small gap filling, not big gap filling, I have shown why you should not skip hero and how to get those heroes even if you are free to play. If anyone tells you to skip, he is giving you misleading information. That is all for this video. To watch more, subscribe.